Here we have an Olympus BX40. It comes equipped with uh, all the standard uh, equipment and features that you would expect on, a, uh, on an Olympus BX40, including a inclinable ergonomic binocular head, and it has a left diopter focusing, and the right eyepiece is fixed, which is standard equipment. Going a little bit lower on the microscope, we have a five-place nose piece. It has a four, I'm sorry, a 10x objective, a 4x objective, a 40x objective, and a 100x oil objective, all plan Acromat. It has a ceramic stage, which is impervious to a lot of solvents. It easily cleans with uh, a small amount of alcohol, like lens cleaner, and uh, scratches even come off if you rub them just a little bit. You have a, a very nice low position coaxial stage, which is self-tensioning. You can tension it here and here. Going down just a little bit further, we have the, the um, focusable and centerable bright field condenser. You can lower it with this knob on the right. And you can also open and close the diopter here. Centering for Kohler illumination is done with these screws right here. And the condenser can actually be removed by unloosening this knob and taking the condenser all the way out for cleaning. Just a little bit below, we have the field diaphragm, which is easily opening and closing this mechanism. It's got a little nice little diaphragm inside. And then you have coaxial focusing on both sides of the stand. You have a, a stage break here, which prevents uh, the objectives from racking into a slide by locking it in place, so it can't come any higher than the designated place. And then on the right side, you have a coarse tension adjustment it's right here, which uh, allows for you to adjust the tension on this drive. So you can make it as loose as you want so that it almost drifts, or you can make it so stiff that you can hardly move this. On the right hand side we have the uh, on-off switch in the back. We have a rheostat control knob here for controlling intensity. We have a preset lock also so that if you want to designate a particular setting, you press that button, it locks in the intensity so when you turn the microscope on and off the next time, turn it on, it will go to that setting. That's why they call it a preset. There's also an outlet plug uh, available here so if you're going to be doing any uh, dual viewing and you need to have a, a separate outlet for the dual viewer illuminated pointer, you can plug it in right here. And in the very back you have an easily removable lamp housing which makes it very convenient to change the bulb. It takes a standard 6 volt 30 watt halogen bipen G4 type bulb.